um, his drugs. Meth. A big bag of it. Mm -hmm. With a syringe to let you know, you know, he had the paraphernalia to go along with it. And he still had some left. When they came and arrested him, he had the same drugs on him, but probably a lesser amount because he had been using them. But at the end of the day, and this is La La News 3, and thanks for tuning in to another episode. And in this episode, I'll actually be discussing the Amazon doorbell privacy lawsuit. Um, and then also, I'll be discussing the man that's arrested for having drugs in his Facebook post. So basically two techie things or two things that are related to um, either online or something of that nature. So um, I'll get right into it first with the Amazon doorbell privacy lawsuit. So um, in Oxfordshire, um, UK, um, Dr. Mary Fairhurst actually took her neighbor John Woodard um, to court. And as I mentioned, it was due to privacy violations for the Amazon doorbell. So, um, he is an audio and visual engineer and he actually installed um, a bunch of cameras around in various points or pointing to various locations and also installed the infamous Amazon Ring doorbell. Um, so that he did actually in an attempt to stop or prevent or see what was going on with an attempt to steal his car which had actually happened the year prior. So, um, however, in regards to whether, you know, his car was almost taken or not, um, Dr. Mary actually said that he violated her and the cameras actually amounted to harassment, um, a nuisance, and a breach of the Data Protection Act of 2018. So, um, now, um, they say he did actually have a right to film from his doorstep whether with the Amazon rank or any other device, um, he does have that right. However, the specific offense um, was actually with him recording audio. So not the visual part or video portion, but the audio portion. So um, the reason is because the audio, they said, can actually pick up um, audio or words or conversations up to 40 feet away. So that would actually be out of the reach of the video um, that you will be looking at. So you have, you know, 40 feet of, of conversations that you can hear, whether that's someone coming up to their porch, whether that's way in the parking lot, wherever that 40 feet reaches is the reach of the audio. However, the video, like I said, wouldn't, but that's where they say the violation came in. So, uh, when they actually made it to the judge, um, the judge actually stated that I'm satisfied that the extent of range to which these devices can capture audio is well beyond the range of video that they capture and in my view cannot be said to be reasonable for the purpose of which the devices are used by the defendant um, since the legitimate aim for which they are said to be used namely crime prevention could surely be achieved by something less meaning you can record the video but you don't need to necessarily have audio which would also be picking up audio from other people's homes and other people's conversations that have nothing to do with or are not directly related to the actual video that you're trying to to get in regards to preventing a crime. So, um, now the actual ruling is um, on the damages, which, you know, she, she did win and that now it's basically they have another court date to determine what the ruling would be or what the damages would be that she actually would get from her privacy being violated due to the Amazon ring doorbell so um, as far as the penalty it would be 100,000 um, that's around hundred and thirty seven thousand three hundred dollars American dollars um, and that would be specifically for invading the privacy so you know, you guys make sure you record only your video, I guess, on your Amazon Ring doorbells because now, you know, the audio is obviously a problem. Now, this isn't happening in the UK. It's not a United States situation. However, Amazon Ring doorbells are happening. You know, they are being sold over here. It's kind of a big thing. So, sometimes laws from other countries and related to certain objects or devices can actually transfer over to, um you know, this here and what you plan to do as well with that. So that could kind of be a doozy there. 
um, and trying to figure that out. So, in that aspect, let me know what you guys think about that. And in that segment, I'll actually be discussing the man that's arrested for having drugs um, in his Facebook post. So, we'll get into that as well. This actually comes out of Stone County, Missouri, which it's a man actually placed an ad on Facebook in the marketplace there selling a Cadillac converter, which we all know is an infamous part that keeps getting stolen off of everybody's cars. Go figure. But in this case, he actually was selling one of these. So... Um, there is no crime, first of all, in posting things to sell on Facebook Marketplace, considering that's what it's for. So, in the same picture, though, that he posted the Cadillac converter, um, with, that's still in a box and everything, so that's great. Um, it's not like an oily one that came off of somebody's car, so it was new in the box. Now, in the same picture that he had this box with this Cadillac converter in it, he actually had a large bag of methamphetamines. And a syringe in the background as well, which could be seen um, on the coffee table. Yeah, so um, police, actually, who we know, they watch Facebook too, so let's not be surprised there. Um, they actually obtained a search warrant um, on September the 30th, and they went to his house and actually arrested him for the said photo. And then when they arrested him, to his surprise, they said he was shocked. However, um, he did also have 48 grams of meth, which is, in the real world, almost two ounces there. Um, and a pistol, um, which they say he's actually forbidden to own since he was a felon. So, and that came from the Sheriff Doug Radar um, on the Facebook post in relation to this. I guess their county had a Facebook post, and they posted the picture and then said this is what you don't want to do so the sheriff actually did give some advice um, in regards to that and he said make sure your drugs are not in the background of your photos of things that you're trying to sell online or just in general of you being online okay so now we know this is not a secret it's been people that's gotten busted before that um, was doing whatever they was doing online and then all of a sudden the police showed up or Somebody was on the run and then they posted that they was at home and then their door get kicked in because now you done told everybody, including the police, that you at home. Not that they got to search your phone to find out where you really at and go through Google and track your location and all that. Now they just simply wait for you to post a picture and then they got a picture at video, photographic, whatever evidence you done posted online because you think it belongs to you and they clearly say it belongs to whatever site that you're on and being that it's a public domain. The police are also on there looking for those unsuspecting people that actually post what they're really doing online. Like in this case, he's trying to sell something, but guess what happened? He also posted um, his drugs. Meth. A big bag of it. Mm -hmm. With a syringe to let you know, you know, he had the paraphernalia to go along with it. And he still had some left. When they came and arrested him, he had the same drugs on him, but probably a lesser amount because he had been using them. But at the end of the day, you know, between the man getting arrested for drugs on his Facebook post um, and the lady that got her privacy invaded through the Amazon doorbell, um, which was a UK situation, then we clearly can see that technology um, can and cannot be your friend, depending upon which end of the stick you're on. So, just want to give you guys a word of friendly advice. Make sure that you are you know, maintaining your privacy as well as what you really do at home if you don't want it to be actually public information and run the risk of actually being arrested. It's, in this case, this guy was. Okay? And this is Lala News 3. You guys know where to reach me at all social media platforms. Check my link tree as well for all of my links. And I'm out.